Williams is in a race against time to repair Alex Albon's chassis for the next event in China, though team boss James Valls remains confident the squad will have two cars on the grid. Albon went into the barrier with RB driver Daniel Ricciardo on lap one after he tagged the embattled Australian at turn two for Williams' third major accident in the opening four races. The multitude of crashes has made a hefty dent in Williams' 2024 budget, with more than two million US dollars reckoned to have been spent on crash repairs and last-minute logistics. The impact of it will be what you expect. We're making spares as quickly as possible in the background, but ultimately it will have an impact on performance, Val said. 1996 F1 world champion Damon Hill says that embattled RB pilot Daniel Ricciardo should forget about finding the perfect setup on his VCARB 01 car, despite a new chassis coming for the next race in China. Ricardo has now been outqualified 4-0 by teammate Yuki Tsunoda as pressure ramps up on the Australian to keep his drive. But Hill, in a chat with the sports official podcast F1 Nation, says the squad has to be blunt with Ricardo to knock him out of this rut. At some point, it's going to get, you have to go to Danny, listen, your career is about to evaporate. You just have to get over it and just drive this damn thing and not look for perfection. You're never going to find it. It's not coming, right? You're going to have to find a way to drive this thing and, and, and wring its neck. Reigning F1 world champion Max Verstappen has reiterated his desire to remain with Red Bull until the end of his current deal in 2028. Rumours hit boiling point in Australia that the Dutch megastar was set to switch squads to get away from a divided Red Bull team, with Mercedes the suggested destination despite its lack of competitiveness. But the 26-year-old instead refuted the rumours, stating that he's staying with the Red Bull squad until the end of his deal, a point he continued to make last weekend at iconic track Suzuka. I'm very happy with where I'm at, and we want to keep it that way, Verstappen said. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc marked the 10th anniversary of his friend Jules Bianchi's fatal crash at Suzuka. With a special helmet design, he raced to fourth in the Japanese Grand Prix. Bianchi, who was racing for Marussia but destined for a Scuderia drive, crashed at the 2014 Japanese Grand Prix and made contact with a crane truck, sustaining head injuries he succumbed to nine months later. In the aftermath of the 2014 event, the FIA appointed a 10-man accident panel to review all the evidence, the result of which was a 396-page report that outlined 11 key issues that led to the crash and seven recommendations for improvements, most of which have been adopted. Bianchi's memory lives on, though, with Leclerc's helmet a dedication to his former friend, who inspired him to race at the pinnacle of motorsport. A special helmet in memory of a very special person for me, wrote Leclerc on social media. Albert Park's Turn 6 could be reprofiled ahead of 2025 season opening Australian Grand Prix, following Mercedes driver George Russell's last lap crash at this year's race that propelled him back onto the track. Russell was stranded in the middle of the track at the exit of Turn 6 and called for the race to be immediately red flagged given the serious risk of being hit by another car with the Brit having crashed following his heated battle with Aston Martin driver Fernando Alonso, who was later penalized by the stewards for potentially dangerous driving. But while Alonso said the penalty will not change much on how we drive, the Spaniard and others say more can be done with the corner. I think the big thing is, turn six in Australia is not the safest corner at the moment on that track, he said. Haas's new for 2024 team principal Ayo Komatsu says the squad hasn't used its budgets wisely in the past, but that changes are being made for it to become a more efficient operation. 
pass split with previous team boss Gunter Steiner at the end of 2023 after the Italian wanted eponymous owner Jean to increase investment in the team. But Komatsu, in a chat with F1's official podcast Beyond the Grid, says the team's American owner was right to push back. If I'm honest and looking back on the past years, how we've been using the money we are given or we are provided wisely, now some areas, there's lots of areas we can see, we can make improvement, we can improve the time efficiency, we can improve the cost efficiency. So that's what we are tackling at this minute. Komatsu is also tasked with solving the team's big communication issue that has long existed between its UK and Italian bases. In Italy, you have a design office and aero department, so they, they basically design the car, right? And the UK facility is a race team, um, race engineering, and all the functionality to analyze the performance of the car. And of course, those two groups or two, those two facilities need to work together but that really wasn't happening. Haas heads to China seventh in the constructors' standings, though the squad failed to score at the last round in Japan. Red Bull may have dominated last Sunday's Japanese Grand Prix, but it was also quietly making its presence known more than 11,000 kilometers away in US capital Washington, DC, ahead of April 20's show run. The reigning World Constructors' Champion's show car was strapped up and hauled onto a barge that sailed the Potomac River before going onto a landmark sightseeing tour that included the world-famous Washington Monument and Capitol Building. 13-time Grand Prix winner David Coulthard is set to wow the crowds in Washington, D.C. on April 20, just a day before the Chinese Grand Prix to promote the sport's return to the USA in Miami on May 5th. Retired four-time F1 world champion Sebastian Vettel has revealed he's been speaking with Mercedes's Toto Wolff and other team principals as he weighs up his desire for a potential comeback. Vettel retired from the sport at the end of 2022 following 299 starts with four crowns and 53 wins for fourth on the all-time list. But while he says that he retired from Formula One not to come back, the German hasn't stayed away from race cars, with demonstration runs and a recent test in Porsche's 963 hypercar. Fueling rumors that he'll make his competitive comeback this year at Le Mans as part of the World Endurance Championship. But while the next step could be an F1 return, Vettel says that his chats with Wolf have so far been general, despite there being an open seat at the Silver Squad from 2025. I am staying in touch. I don't know. It has to be a couple more phone calls and conversations, I guess, to really find out a little bit more. But for sure, it's one of the best seats on the grid, he said. The FIA's member clubs and Sport Federations of America has ramped up the protection of its president, Mohammed Ben Salayam, in an open letter that recommends legal action against those who, without cause, slander the governing body and its leadership. Ben Salayam was cleared last month of wrongdoing following allegations of interference at two F1 events. But the relevant member clubs who endorse and ratify their vote of confidence in support of the FIA president want further action, including legal. Stating that accusations of impropriety and unethical practices propagated by some members of the print and digital media were intended for the sole purpose of causing harm to the FIA and its leadership, particularly the president. The letter has been signed by over 30 representatives, including Fabiana Eccleston, who is vice president of South America for sports and wife of former F1 supremo Bernie. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.